I'm Margot Politis. Welcome to Study English IELTS Preparation. Today we're going to look at using the word say in four different ways. To give examples, to narrow down, to quote and as a filler. Our story looks at the anti-cancer qualities of the ginseng plant. Listen for the word say. What they found, say, in the case of, of ginseng is that it is something that is, is difficult and slow growing uh, in the wild and even in field cultivation. So you can imagine uh, ginseng, to have a mature plant, it might be there for a period of say four to seven years. While it's in the ground, uh, you know, it can suffer from pests, pest problems. Um, I've heard of, of instances where growers have had the, the crop in the ground for say five to six years. They've been keen to keep it that extra year or two to, to say form the right shape of the ginseng plant and then they've been struck by pests virtually overnight. The speaker, Dr David Armstrong, uses the word say in several different ways. Listen to the first one again. What they've found, say in the case of, of ginseng, is that it is something that is, is difficult and slow growing. The word say in this clip is used to introduce an example. In formal English, instead of using say, we would use for instance or for example. Have a look at these sentences. They have found, say, in the case of ginseng, that it is difficult to grow. They have found, for instance, in the case of ginseng, that it is difficult to grow. They have found, for example, in the case of ginseng, that it is difficult to grow. So say can be used to introduce an example. Let's listen to another use of the word say. So you can imagine uh, ginseng, to have a mature plant, it might be there for a period of say four to seven years. Say in this clip has another meaning. It's used for narrowing down a time period. It means around or approximately. Listen for another example. I've heard of, of instances where growers have had the, the crop in the ground for say five to six years. The crop has been in the ground for say five to six years. So the word say here narrows down a time period. The growers have had the crop in the ground for say five to six years. The growers have had the crop in the ground for around five to six years. Dr. Armstrong uses the word say in one more way. Listen here. They've been keen to keep it that extra year or two to, to say form the right shape of the ginseng plant and then they've been struck by pests. He says to say form the right shape of the ginseng plant. Say here is giving the speaker time to gather his thoughts. It's used as a filler. He could have said um or one of the other language fillers. For example, to say form the right shape of the ginseng plant, to um, form the right shape of the ginseng plant. There is one more use for the word say, to quote. When we report what someone else has said, we call it indirect speech or reported speech. Speakers often introduce indirect or reported speech using the verb to say. Listen how the reporter talks about Dr McManus's new approach to cancer treatment. Dr McManus says it's a whole new approach to cancer treatment, using the slower acting, milder, traditional herbal compounds as well as Western cancer drugs to try to make conventional treatment more effective. The reporter is quoting Dr McManus. She is talking about something that he has said. Dr McManus says, it's a whole new approach. So we've looked at four different uses of the word say in that one short story. This one word, say, turns out to be very useful in English. The story we've watched about ginseng provides us with lots of vocabulary relating to the topic of health and well-being. Now let's listen to Dr McManus talking about the benefits of ginseng. 
Listen for the vocabulary that relates specifically to this topic. Dr McManus says it's a whole new approach to cancer treatment, using the slower acting, milder traditional herbal compounds as well as Western cancer drugs to try to make conventional treatment more effective. Mild doses every day is believed to keep the body in equilibrium and just to maintain general health and vitality and stamina. And the other perhaps more valuable application is when someone's dying. Uh, it's believed to have life enhancing properties so because of that it commands very high prices. Um, I saw in, in Beijing in a herbal pharmacy there one plant, a 50 year old ginseng plant worth $100,000. It's because of the active components increase with age over time. So a one year old root is nowhere near as valuable as a six year old root. And of course a, a wild 50 year old root is incredibly valuable. He uses a lot of health related words. He says doses, body, equilibrium, health, vitality and stamina. Did you notice how these words were combined together? Let's listen again. Mild doses every day is believed to keep the body in equilibrium and just to maintain general health and vitality and stamina. Dr McManus says mild doses every day is believed to keep the body in equilibrium. The phrase mild doses is a collocation. In English, some word combinations commonly go together. These combinations are called collocations. There is no particular reason for these words to go together. They just sound right to a native speaker because of habit, history or usage. Collocations occur in both noun phrases like mild doses and verb phrases such as to keep the body in equilibrium. Let's look at some common noun phrase collocations. We say high prices. High collocates with prices. We don't say large prices or big prices. We say high prices. We say a tall building, not a high building. Collocations are not just about the words that go together, but also the order they go in. We always say black and white, not white and black. We say salt and pepper and hot and cold. Another important collocation is the way we say directions. English speakers always say north, south, east and west in that order. The topic of today's story is a collocation as well, health and well-being. These nouns are often used together in this order. Listen to Dr McManus again. You'll hear him use a number of other collocations such as general health, valuable application, life enhancing properties and high prices. Mild doses every day is believed to keep the body in equilibrium and just to maintain general health and vitality and stamina. And the other perhaps more valuable application is when someone's dying. Uh, it's believed to have life enhancing properties so because of that it commands very high prices. Choosing the right word combination will make your speech and writing sound more natural. Also choosing the best collocation will enable you to express yourself more clearly and precisely. So today we've looked at the word say for giving an example, narrowing down, quoting and as a filler. We also looked at some collocations relating to health words. Don't forget that you can go to our website for the transcript, study notes and exercises for today's story. And I'll see you next time for Study English. Bye-bye.